Hey YouTube, this is Sharpen Blades, and I got another video for you guys. This is going to be a quick first impressions of the three new knives that I got. Um, I did try this video uh, as far as recording it about three times, and so far I couldn't get it under 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to get through it this time. Um, so let's go for it. Alright, so first up, we have the Spider Co. Spidey Chef. It's a Marshawn Sleece design. Here's the knife. So we'll start at the business end. It has a modified drop point blade, full flat grind with a satin finish. Blade steel is LC200N. I don't have any experience with it, but from what I've read, it has excellent rust and corrosion resistance and it's pretty tough. At the back end, we have a full titanium handle with a deep carry wire clip that's reversible for left hand or right hand tip up only. <clears throat> Frame lock, um, it runs on uh, phosphor bronze washers. <clears throat> um, first impressions right out of the box. Uh, I love the design, specifically the blade shape. I love this blade shape. Um, <clears throat> is extremely sharp right out of the box uh, the action wasn't as great it was kind of a uh, kind of chalkboardy like uh, nails across a chalkboard but um as i fidget with it a little bit uh opening and closing it for a while it did smoothen up but what i will do is uh, take it down and polish the washers uh clean any gunk out that's in there and um boil it down so uh, I may make a video on that leave me a message in the comments below let me know if that's something you're interested in or not moving right along we have a uh, Kaiser Gemini it's a Ray Laconico design <clears throat> and here it is it's a flipper it's a drop point blade Full flat grind with a stone wash finish. It is S35 VN steel. I do have experience with this. Uh, this is my first Kaiser, so I don't have any experience with Kaiser's S35 VN and how they treat it. Um, so at the back end, we have full titanium handle scales, anodized hardware, anodized backspacer, and pocket clip. Pocket clip is right hand tip up only. We have a frame lock with steel inserts. And uh, I believe this runs on washers. Don't quote me on that. I will take it down and um, I'll know for sure by the time review comes. <clears throat> um, so my first impressions for this, action is amazing. Um, the only thing I was slightly disappointed about was uh the knife was i guess just a step up from dull from the factory um it basically tore through paper more than it actually cut it um i plan on making a video sharpening this knife uh let me know in the comments below if that's something you're interested in and that is the kaiser gemini and last up Last but certainly not least, we have the Wii Knives 720A Zeta. Have our certificate of authenticity, a um, branded cloth, silica pack, and a knife. Okay, here we go. So this is another flipper. Now at the business in here, we have a upswept blade with a flat grind and a uh, satin finish here um, with a decorative and is a functional uh, thumb hole uh, for a second motor deployment. Has the serial number here. Let me see if we can get that serial number there. And 
down below. It's the tool steel Bowler M390. I don't have any experience with that uh, specific steel, but um, I've heard awesome things about it. So I look forward to seeing how it uh, how it holds up and how it sharpens. All right. So on the back end, we have a gorgeous handle titanium with carbon fiber inlays <clears throat> it's also a frame lock with a steel lock bar insert titanium deep carry pocket clip and this is right hand tip up only uh, the zeta runs on ceramic bearings and is a design by elijah isham uh, first impressions the action on this is fantastic i love this it definitely closes under its own weight for the most part. Um, the only thing took me a little getting used to is the placement of the flipper tab. This is the first flipper tab I had that was geared towards the top basically and not in the back. But the learning curve is not steep. So once you get up on it, um, it flips just like any other flipper basically. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I... I love the design of this. Um, I like the way that the flipper tab it goes away into the handle when it's fully deployed. There's no real hot spots to speak of so far. I haven't really used this though. Um, so I will get into all that in the review later on. But I love the design. Um, it's a classy looking blade. It's still kind of aggressive looking too. With the upswept and I mean, but the lines are amazing. <clears throat> and um, it checked all the boxes for me right out of the box. Uh, razor sharp. Very smooth deployment. So that uh, ranks high on my fidget factor. All right, guys. So that's it. These are the three new knives I have. Um, brief overview. I will get to reviewing each one after they have some pocket time. Um, but I am going to take this one down and uh, give it a spa treatment, see if we can improve on the action. Um, I'll run this through my Lansky system and get this blade sharper. Um, I'll probably just take this apart just to see what it looks like and see if we can improve on this already fantastic action. Um, don't need to sharpen this one right out of the box, but I do want to use this so I can see how uh, sharpening Bowler M390 since I've never done it before. Alright guys, so that's it for me today. I'll see you on the next video.